After 25 F-35 to Israel, the United States has approved the sale of 24 F-35A joint strike fighters to the Czech Republic, and the deal will include a plethora of weapons and spares in a contract worth around $5.6 billion. A retired Air Marshal of the Indian Air Force who is currently the Director General of the Center for Air Power Studies in New Delhi has said that India has not formally sought an F-35 briefing on the aircraft, however, some briefings have been given at delegation levels, followed by daily flight demonstrations by the F-35 at the Aero India 2023. The Director General also said that the induction of AMCA is still 10 to 15 years away, and buying around 40 F-35 could be a good interim investment to counter growing Chinese J-20 numbers, but an even higher priority for the Indian Air Force is to get the 114 MRFA fighters additional AWACS and flight refuelers. Business Korea has reported that Hanwha Aerospace will participate in the Indian Army's future infantry combat vehicle project, and will partner with India's Larsen and Tubro in producing the Redback Advanced Infantry Fighting Vehicle. It features T-2000 directed energy turret, that will address the escalating top attack threat posed to infantry fighting vehicles. The vehicle is manned by three crew members, and offers armor protection options up to Stenag Level 6. It features the Iron Fist Active Protection System equipped with integrated radars and electro-optics, that will enable the Redback to detect, classify and counter incoming line-of-sight guided anti-tank missiles and projectiles. It is powered by a 1000 horsepower engine, and has a maximum speed of more than 65 km per hour and a maximum range of 520 km. A tender for the optimization of a high-speed vessel and evaluation of hydrodynamic performance has inadvertently disclosed that the upcoming Indian nuclear attack submarine will incorporate pump jet propulsion, a cross-foam rudder. The 6,000-ton nuclear attack submarine will be powered by a 190-megawatt reactor and will be equipped with vertical and torpedo tube-launched supersonic and subsonic long-range cruise missiles. India plans to develop three SSNs in the initial phase, and three more in the second phase, and the first SSN is expected to undergo sea trials around 2032. India and France are holding talks to collaborate on the development of pump jet propulsion based on French technology, and this pump jet propulsion will also feature on the 12 indigenous conventional submarines under Project 76. The TAPAS drone is all set for user evaluation trials, but reports indicate that these trials are expected to be mere formalities, as most of the developmental trials were closely monitored by a tri-services team from the armed forces. The DRDO anticipates that user trials will be completed by mid-2024, and the DRDO expects combined orders to exceed 100 units, and partnerships with Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited will ensure the production. DRDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has set its sights on developing hybrid electric engine technology for armored fighting vehicles that will offer instantaneous power delivery for faster acceleration, providing armored vehicles with a tactical advantage on the battlefield. It will also provide advantages in terms of maintenance and fuel consumption, thus enhancing the range and endurance of armored fighting vehicles for sustained combat capabilities. The navies of India and Japan have kicked off the 7th edition of the Japan-India Maritime Exercise using guided missile destroyers anti-submarine corvette and P-8I aircraft. The six-day joint naval exercise is aimed to learn from each other's best practices on anti-submarine warfare and facilitate operational interactions to further expand their overall military cooperation.